What you've just seen is a student who can read, write, improvise, and compose music simply as a matter of course. This level of achievement, and she's not an exception, is a natural outcome of the teaching method I've developed in which children progress of their own accord. Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Rasmussen, and I chair the Department of Early Childhood Music at the Peabody Preparatory of Johns Hopkins University, where I serve the musical needs of babies to eight-year-old children. After 30 years of working with thousands of students from many different backgrounds, and after continually honing my delivery of a powerful method based on the world's best research in music education, I've now reached a point where my quest for becoming a better teacher all these years has turned into a real calling to make this kind of music training available anywhere. Making the Chicken and Froggy Music Learning app real will be the first step toward developing the first comprehensive and child-guided curriculum of the best music education practices. We're going to make this product, which could easily be worth hundreds of dollars in class or private instruction, accessible to anyone with a smart device at an introductory rate of $8.99. Here's how the Chicken and Froggy app works. Just like developing a rich vocabulary of words, your child will learn to understand fundamental musical patterns, which when combined, make up the key components of music, melody, rhythm, harmony, and style. As your child echoes short musical patterns like ba 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 or bum bum bum, your smart device will actually listen to and score your child's performance. For singing patterns of tones, the froggy will zap flies out of the air as the child repeats them correctly. For rhythms, baby chicks will hatch as those patterns are repeated. So it will be fun as well as effective. La la, ray ray, so so, do. Who's got it? Who's got it? Come on, try it. This kind of practice augments any music instruction. When musicians and teachers see what the children can do, they consistently say that they'd wish they'd had this kind of training. Teaching this way has certainly made me a better musician. Here's a sample clip of one of my kindergarten students. Take a look. Major or minor? Major. And what's it end on? G. And is G do? Yes. Can you sing? Do. Go ahead. Do, me, do, re, ti, re, do, so, do. We go over here. What do we have here? G minor. It still ends on G, but there's two flats. Two flats, so it's G minor, right. So now, not only is he reading, he's ready to write these patterns, and as he develops a larger vocabulary, he can compose and improvise. Far too often, many of us don't get to experience being musical like that. Not because you weren't born for it, but because you were taught in a way that made learning music difficult for you. Learning music should be as easy as learning your native language, and that's why we're making this app. We've laid the groundwork to offer you two comprehensive and fundamental levels of this teaching method into the Chicken and Froggy Music Learning app. The prototype works and the art is in progress. Your contributions will go directly to the app to pay the developer and the graphic designer for their great work and perseverance to this point. It's time to take the best music learning practices and put that power directly into the children's hands. So please help us contribute to the musical world by donating to this project. We thank you for helping this wonderful possibility become a reality. Thanks.